assalamu alaikum students uh, in today's lecture we will study about the slope formula and some application of it first of all to derive the slope formula let us consider two points one is x1 y1 and the other is x2 y2 and we want to calculate the slope between these two points first draw the position vector of this point it will be something like this this will be its axis and this will be its ordinate and a similar kind of position vector can be drawn for this point and this will be its axis and ordinate now if we just concentrate on this right angled triangle and uh, let me draw it separately over here we have this is uh, angle i uh, suppose alpha and uh, this is the angle which it makes with uh, horizontal and this is suppose alpha and uh, let's name this point a and this is b and then this this uh, length will be or uh, ordinate will be y2 minus y1 let me write over here and this would be x2 minus x1 so actually the slope is tangent of this angle and this angle is actually called inclination alpha is our inclination and tangent of alpha is our slope so by using uh, basic identities of trigonometry we can say that tangent of alpha equals to perpendicular over base and that will be y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 so to just to remember you, we we can also say that this is actually the change in y divided by change in x or sometimes it is also considered the change in rise divided by change in run so uh, let me do a few examples on it so i have two points uh, one is 1 3 9 2 2 and i want to find the slope of the line passing through the, these line uh, these points so this is actually x1 this is y1 this is x2 and this is y2 uh now to calculate the slope and slope is usually represented by m this is the slope between these uh, uh do these two points and it would be y2 minus y1 means 2 minus 3 divided by x2 minus x1 means 9 minus 1 so slope will be minus 1 by 8 so this is the slope of the line joining these two points to find out uh, to solve another example let's consider uh, a few other points 2 3 9 4 and again this is x1 this is y1 this is x2 and this is y2 and if uh, we calculate m that would be y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 so m will be 1 divided by 7 we are just we are free to choose whether this is x1 y1 or this is x1 y1 but we should make sure that when we choose this x1 then its ordinate will be considered y1 and if we choose this is x2 then its ordinate must be y2 and rest is the same we will just put them in the formula and we will get the slope now there are few conditions uh, which can be used and these are very useful using the slope formula where when two lines are parallel then their slopes will be equal and when lines are perpendicular then their slopes will be in this relation 
and there there is also another condition that m1 and m2 these uh, both should be defined then this relation will hold and here this uh, the second relation can also be written as m1 m2 equals to minus 1 so this is the condition of perpendicularism of two lines and this is the condition of parallelism of two lines and uh, we uh, end this lecture up to here in this uh, in future lecture inshallah we will uh, use this formula to uh, drive different results we will also find uh, the slopes of uh, sides of triangle altitudes medians of triangles and uh, for that you must know the slope formula so you should practice a bit about for this formula and you should solve two or three questions so that the future lecture might be easy for you.